What is up guys? Welcome back to the homestead. Got a cool little project today. We got to get a door on the shed down here at the bottom. But first, since we finally have electrical ran all the way over to the shed, we're gonna get some electrical over there. Taking the box apart again. All right, that is just perfect. We have power down here. Check this out behind me here, this little outlet. Um, as you can see, we pulled the 20 amp wire in when we pulled the well wire in. That's working, that's perfect. Before we only had like that little outlet sticking out of the ground, super janky over by the other wells over there. And now we have like an actual outlet that's undercover out of the weather. We can go in, we can run extension cords from that to wherever we're working down here. Eventually, we will put an outlet over at the J box where everything is kind of, um, you know, intertwining. But for now, it's just kind of spliced together and we got it right over here. So that is just perfect. Since that's going, we can run the skill saw down here now, get these boards out here, get some measurements, and start making a door. So we need at least 46 inches of board. So hopefully. Over here we have at least 46 inches. Don't have a big flat area, so I think I'll use the trailer. What? <laughs> what? So I want to just pull all the boards in, make sure they're all pulled together. Right, we should have switched sides. Yeah. That's okay. Okay. Keep going. late this evening to beat the crowds. Yeah. Oh yeah, if we go in. Oh, I guess it's not a school day, so. Hey, pick up. I'm pushing back again, so you keep it just picking up. Right there. Right there. Cool, so the next morning down here, super cold this morning. We woke up, it was 23 degrees out. Mm -hmm. So getting chilly here in Idaho. 
not super good for that rubberized paint that I put on the roof last night. So a lot of you guys may have seen stuff like this round. It was just like a, a coating, a seal coat um, to do stuff like that. I initially have bought it to do around the boot for the chimney out mm -hmm. of the house. Um, I don't totally trust the silicone in the seal right there. Right. So I'm going to paint all around that boot, um, put a couple coats of this uh, roof seal in. It's made for like metal. It's made to adhere to metal. Mm -hmm. It's made to adhere to uh, wood, all sorts of stuff, rubber, all different kinds of like everything. So that's yeah. what we bought it for initially. But since this shed here had a couple holes in the roof and uh, I think some of the nails were even leaking. Mm -hmm. So... We got all those sealed up um, and it was really good, but I don't think the cold was good for it like curing and doing like its whole thing. Like not having totally like finished curing or settling yet. Right, yeah, like, I don't think it dried because we did it really late last night. Not late, but right. late and then it got late really cold. Evening. Okay. So, I mean, we'll see, I guess, over time. Luckily, this mm -hmm. is like a good little I know small the, one to do. Right, the woodshed itself is pretty old. It is, know, yeah. Like, I don't know like how old, but, no, but pretty old. Pretty so old this, for sure. Kind of cool. We moved this shed from our old house to our new property when we moved here. Right. Um, so it was kind of like the very first structure on our homestead. If you guys haven't seen that video of us trying to move it, it's pretty comical. Because, <laughs> it is. It's one know, of our we, first videos. One of our first videos. Right. And we trial and errored it a whole bunch. You know, it was bad. We didn't to... get it on video, but at one point we had this whole shed still in like intact in one piece lifted up i don't know this high off the ground yeah. sitting on barrels on 55 gallon drums it yeah. was a mess it was a mess but, but then we got it here we figured out how to transport yes it. Yeah, we, we took it all apart so right at the end of this video be sure to click on that link it's like liz said it's pretty comical yeah. so it's cool the shed has some history mm -hmm. um when we moved it obviously it got a little beat up and Right. Battle, battle wounds. Yeah, we haven't know. we haven't gotten around to like painting it or make it nice, but that's totally our plan. We yeah. Let's see, as the foundation, I mean, we put it on like railroad ties that we had gotten, and so we think it should last like quite. Should a long last time. a while, yeah. It's those ties are shape. treated and mm -hmm. yeah, it's like rough cut posts on the inside that seem mm -hmm. like they're in great shape. So we want to come back through and paint it you know put some new trim on it clean up all clean the all nasty up, stuff and make it look nice give it a whole bunch more life yeah it's super cool i actually have a hoist system for this shed like initially at the old house it was used i don't know if i ever used it to pick up my snowmobile um but right. i built it to pick up like wild game Deer, to clean yeah. them outside oh. so we do have a hoist system that goes on the outside of the shed mm -hmm. so we can do all that all right it was originally um, a woodshed we kept it as a woodshed for quite a while but yeah. we think here it's going to be more of a gardening shed or just kind of a storage shed. Right. We do have plans to build a greenhouse down here as well. Mm -hmm. So kind of just add on to that for a little bit more storage. Yeah, I agree. It would be nice to cut like some windows into this thing eventually. Mm -hmm. um, you know, now that we got a door on it, we can actually keep some stuff in here. Um, right. We got a lock coming. So yeah, the doors, finally can play that game. The little doors themselves. I don't know if we have any clips of what they look oh, like. Oh, the old doors? Yeah, we, we our first experience, experience with goats was the goats had like <laughs> right. torn off the door and it had just been through some stuff so it's kind of nice to have this or it's really nice to have this big sturdy door on there yeah seriously okay. really nice it's heavy so i guess we'll kind of see over time um if everything holds up i guess a guy could probably always jack it back up and put a few cross braces on it or something right. um but the hinges should hold up they're pretty big hinges we got three of them on there mm -hmm. um i would say this door weighs easily close to 80 pounds if mm -hmm. not more right. so it, it's a heavy door um, but it, it's stout and this is all the just the end pieces from when we milled a shiplap right here mm -hmm. we didn't really have a plan for these thicker pieces of wood that we can't you know drop the mill all the way down to right so this worked out perfect it ended up being about an inch and a half thick inch and a half plus thick mm -hmm. um i think it's like 46 by 69, 69 i yep. think is what it was and then we had to trim it up a little bit like as you can yeah we did have video, to cut it in i think our problem was we didn't build the door totally square we kind of sure. trusted our rough cut um yeah. dimensions and didn't come out perfectly square but you know it's just a woodshed so yeah cut to fit it's door fine. works cut to fit door <laughs> yeah yeah buy yeah, your door cut to fit whatever <laughs> yeah <laughs> it works yeah so. We appreciate you guys watching. Um, we really do. Mm -hmm. If we you really like do. this video, please give us a thumbs up at the bottom. Yeah, let us know. Let us know if you've ever built a door for a shed before and yeah. how you think we did. We like it. It yeah. looks good. and It works sturdy. perfectly for now, yeah. yeah. So Cool, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. See you next time.